News, Delaware Valley's leading news program. As you know, it is a very wet Wednesday. Sky 6 looking live over the center city skyline where thick clouds have dropped torrents of rain today and we are not done yet. Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft and I'm Shirley Nellicott. The big story in Action News is a rainy afternoon and word of more to come. Adam Joseph gets us started today. He is tracking the system with double scan live radar. Adam. Yeah, Brian and Shirley in most of the area right now seeing some light showers, but there's this batch of steady or heavier rain that has punctured right across Philadelphia and the major metro areas of the Delaware Valley on double scan live and also some steady rain throughout Berks County and parts of Lancaster County. But as we go to double scan a little bit closer here. Uh, it is a nightmare rush hour this evening for all the major roadways in and out of Philadelphia along 95, the Schuylkill Expressway, the Blue Route, the Northeast Extension, and also the Atlantic City Expressway in 55. There's kind of a pocket of heavy rain with some red now moving north of Glassboro. But as we close into Center City itself, Allegheny Ave, Montgomery Ave into Center City, and then all points north Germantown Ave as you head towards Chestnut Hill. It is a steady heavy rain, but this is beginning to lift away from the city, so we should see the intensity of the rain in and around Center City kind of lessen here over the next half an hour or so. Double scan live radar, despite that we see a lull here through parts of the evening hours, there's still a pipeline of moisture pivoting off the Atlantic around a large low that is still way to the west of the Ohio Valley, so it's going to be very slow to progress everything through our area. In fact, future rainfall totals showing we could see at least another inch of rain in spots overnight tonight as all this pulls to the north and east. In fact, here is your timing of the rain between now and 7 o'clock on and off heavy rain. Maybe the rumble of thunder doesn't look like much severe weather with this uh, seven o'clock through midnight. There could be a quite a lull across much of the area with just some scattered showers and the rain will pick back up after midnight and be out before the morning rush and with the wet weather coming through and heavy rain. I'll be updating Twitter quite a bit this evening, so hopefully we see you over on the social media sites when we're not on air, Brian, and much more coming up in that AccuWeather forecast. That's right. Yeah, let's uh, get over to meteorologist Adam Joseph tracking uh, even more rain coming at him. Yeah, there's a lot of rain. that will be on and off throughout the overnight hours tonight. And as you can see on Storm Tracker 6 Live double scan, there's a pipeline of moisture and it's really going to be on and off with the intensity of the rain overnight. So let's look a little bit closer region by region on double scan live to street level. And there we can see that batch of heavy rain right now just east of Center City over the river from Cherry Hill to Haddonfield now moving up toward Riverside. So it's beginning to lessen in intensity in Philadelphia and that's the way it's going to remain overnight tonight. You'll get that burst of heavy rain and then it will turn to more lighter showers. And as you can see, no lightning strikes right now in this vantage point really not much in the way of dynamics to get a lot of thunderstorms with this overnight and no lightning strikes north and west. It is just a steady rain through much of Chester County, Delaware County, Lancaster, Redding, all the way up through northern Bucks County into the Lehigh Valley. Also very wet roadways. In fact, parts of Lancaster County through Berks County, we had some heavy rain pass through earlier this afternoon. So far up to two inches anywhere from Lancaster through Ephrata, also into downtown Redding and north into Pottsville. And because of that, some of the streams are running high, but no flooding, just that flood advisory through the next few hours for some of that ponding on the roadways. As we look at the temperatures, it is very tropical out there and warm. 74 in Trenton, 71 in Millville in Philadelphia, 72 in Allentown, and a little bit cooler to the west. Lancaster coming in at 65, but everyone feeling that tropical humidity with dew points near 70 to 72 degrees in Dover. This is more typical of July and August, and that is why the rain is so heavy because the atmosphere right now is moisture loaded. In fact, as we take a look at the mid levels of the atmosphere where we kind of grab that moisture from systems, we can see that moist flow coming in right up from the south. We've got that dry air as you can see in the orange here puncturing west of that cold front and that dry air will push in tomorrow morning. So future tracker at six o'clock this evening. Again, that heavy rain to the north and west scattered to the south and we could see a lull in the action through much of the evening hours through 10 o'clock. Really not much going on. There'll be some pockets of heavy rain, but it kind of reignites after midnight through 4 a.m. Some of that heavier rain, the rumble of thunder.
thunder passing through and then it's out of here in time for tomorrow morning's rush hour. As we take a look at your four day at four forecast tomorrow, 72 degrees with that morning shower and then returning sun and dropping humidity. And on Friday, it's breezy. It's pleasant sun and clouds at 70 degrees and a Great start to your weekend Saturday, 70 degrees and a cold front comes through. And let me tell you, the thermometer drops here on Sunday, a chilly breeze and a high of just 58 degrees. And that is going to be the start of quite a chilly stretch for next Ooh. week. We'll talk about all those numbers in the seven day in the next half hour. All right. The weather isn't the only thing buzzing. We've got mm -hmm. that coming up next.